Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about introduction to storytelling. This storytelling will be comes in a class 11th and 12th standard. In the both sections it will be comes. So it is one of the very easiest unit and it is a much more important unit also. So in our life everything will be starts with a storytelling. Even when the child has been born, our grandmother still uh, uses to tell the story, our mom still has to use the story. So everything in our life has been started with a storytelling. This is one of the very very easiest unit and you can be able to get a good scores in this unit also. So let's go into the unit. See here, here the summary, students get to learn about significance of storytelling which has been used as a medium to pass the knowledge, experience and information sensages. In the sense what it means um, you can able to see the years uh, 100 years before or 200 years before uh, at the time when the language has not been born also they just communicate the story with the help of the sign languages or cave drawings or anything so this is the thing knowledge experience and information since ages it also builds intercultural understanding and community and commonalities thereof. It means, see, uh, I was in an India, Tamil Nadu, Chennai, but I can be able to understand the different types of stories which was told in the various part of around the world. For example, uh, if the Korean culture has been come to know to me, means just only by seeing the videos or documentaries, anything, they has been narrated it as a beautiful stories. That's what. Uh, important point here this session will also equip students with their vital skills to tell back the stories with the numbers or proof points by blending the two words or odd data and human communications in the sense see here just we are going to start with then what is storytelling and later this storytelling will going to be incorporated with the data that is an important thing that can be known as a data storytelling uh, data visualization is a now key to interpret and tell an impactful story so everything is in data see very important thing first what is story and how we are going to narrate the story how we are going to incorporate the data into the storytelling that's the matter here So the first topic here is then storytelling um, communications across the ages. See, stories have been central to human cognition and it has proved to be the most effective way of communication since time immemorial. It means uh, cognition in the sense uh, how we are going to be think and what we are going to be do. That's an important thing and the stories makes a chemical effect in our human brains also. That's why they are saying there is a biochemical reason why people love stories. See, I love to say story to my son. Even my son will be say a lot of stories to me and your parents will be say the stories. If the stories has been really inspired to you, automatically your brain cells will listen to the story. That is known as a chemical effects. When a good story is told, the brain comes alive because storytelling literally has a chemical effects on the brain that it wake itself or order to observe, digest and store information. It means uh, if the story is beautiful and if the story is in very good and if you like the story very much automatically our brain will be uh, wake up see in our school or colleges if the students doesn't like the teachers lecturer or anything automatically they go to fall asleep like this why because of it was not goes into the brain and it not as any type of chemical effect that's why this storytelling has a chemical effect we can be able to narrate any situations easily with the help of this storytelling. Stories of the power to inspire, see power to inspire, motivate and change people's opinion. That's what. Storytelling is defined as the art of narrating stories to engage an audience. Here important thing is we are going to engage the audience. Even as a college professor or teacher or politicians or anyone, they must engage their audience by narrating the stories. Everyone has their own stories, but how they are going to know? Now the Avatar 2 has been released and running very successfully. So uh, everyone has done a lot of stories. All the directors are coming out of the stories. Why these type of movies, the fantasy movies are going to uh, beyond the things means that thought the what the thoughts has been comes in the director's mind that is known as an human cognition so how they are going to be make the thoughts as a beautiful comes in as a screen that's here narrating the stories to engage an audience 
so here our human cognizant is going to narrate the stories and the audience is going to be involved with that stories see uh, before the cave drawings or stories or comes by the line um, years to years or whatever it may be there there is a three things is there one is a written printed and typed stories and our next topic here is in why storytelling is so powerful on cross culture and what does this mean for data storytelling so here the word has been started that data storytelling so uh, we will be starting in storytelling and data this storytelling will be integrated to data storytelling also here we are going to say why this storytelling is so powerful in cross culture see um, anything cross culture in the word everyone knows the meaning i think uh, i was in chennai at the same time i know about the cultures of most of the peoples who have been in the kerala how it means it is just in cross culture and it is in power of storytelling i just hear the some of the stories with the help of the documentaries how the kerala people what is their festivals and how will what is their food habits or anything so this is known as a cross culture cross culture just in india i am saying about the two states even from here to nigeria or south africa or america or canada whatever the countries it may be just it is going to be said as a story that's why a well told story is an inspirational narrative um that can able to be um what can i say, say uh, engage the audiences that's what with the uh, crossing the boundaries and the cultural also that's why uh, storytelling is so powerful and also a cross culture one see here they just given the five things what are the five steps involved in selling an effective data storytelling means first one is an understanding the audience we must understand our audience it means if i'm going to say any story to the public audiences uh, i want to say anything as a gender if i'm going to say with that some of the set of educated people i want to say according to their knowledges if the commerce stream is i'm going to say i can able to say commerce stories to them biology means biology stories first i want to understand the my audience mindset choosing the right data and visualizations data must be a valid one if you are going to choose the wrong data or anything it is not an exactly good stories or anything so we must choose the right data and right visualization visualization in the sense we want to choose the good graph for example if i am going to say about any rainfall it will be comes as an histogram why it means rainfall is an continuous activities so in the year of 1900 to 2022 all the rainfalls has been measured everything but it is known as an continuous data that's why i want to know to choose an exact visualization here drawing attention to the key information it means our audience must listen to our story so if i am going to say the story my audience want to be listen for the entire story they could not be get bored or anything so the key information is a very important thing developing a narrative see i like most of our indian politicians why because of they are going to do what other things they are saying in a uh, rally or anything that secondary part but how they are developing the situations that is an important thing developing a narrative last one engaging your audiences our audience must be in the uh, tip of the seat why because of they must be engaged with our stories so these are the five important things that is in five steps involved in telling an effective data story understanding the audience choosing the right data and visualization drawing attention to the key information developing a narrative and engaging your audience see here just they give one simple example here um this has been given in our both the textbooks here what means one new teacher has been joined in the school and he started teaching and the students get uh, what can i say that he takes some of the feedback from the students and these feedbacks he give this type of data uh, it means uh, what can we say is that 11% bored 5% are not okay 40% are okay next 20 people is bit interested and next one excited see here with the help of this data visualization they are trying to communicate to say one simple story that is the key point here next one that teacher again started to take an uh, what can we say is that um surveys or he changed his teaching methodologies and again he take the surveys from the students later than this data has been comes here the story is a secondary thing with that story how we integrate this data this data is a very key point here with this data that's why storytelling about data see here the story has been one teacher has been joined and due to his teaching methodologies uh, boring things he get this much of uh, what can i say is that uh, he get this much of uh, things from that audience
we get uh, these responses from the students and later after exchange with teaching methodology we get this much of uh, responses from the students just here we are trying to say you that how the data has been integrated with the stories that's it this is a simple example given here um, next one here is the, the need of storytelling what is the need see the need for storytelling is gaining importance like never before as more and more people are becoming aware of its potential to achieving multi purpose objective need for storytelling anything here is a story just i can able to engage my audience by saying in right data and if it is a very good story your even will be listen so that's why the need for storytelling this we are going to communicate with that uh, peoples that's why the storytelling is even much more needed here yeah they just given some circles here you can able to fill the circles with why i mean what is the necessity of the storytelling see here some of the expected responses they have been given first responses has been storytelling as an emotional glue information presented in structured manner storytelling reshapes knowledge and helps communicate something meaningful persuasive and influential next one helps transcends one's current environment adding meaning to the data motivating for the audiences so these are the things used for need for storytelling they said you know what is the need for storytelling emotional glue structured manner reshapes knowledge and helps communicate something meaningful persuasive and influential uh, one's current environment meaning to the data and motivating for the audience um so these are the important need of the storytelling so i would like to end up this session in our session 2 i would like to end up the session in our session 2 i will be start with the storytelling with the data so this will be comes as a session 2 bye everyone